In this video, I will be showing you 6 scratch tricks that will take you to the next level. The first trick is how to change the size of your sprite in a smooth way. So to do this effect, we'll do when green flag click. Let's set the size to 100. Forever, we'll change size by 150 minus size divided by 5. Then put it in this change size block. And as you can see, this effect works. So the first input is where you put the final size. And in the other input, you put the speed of the effect. Remember, lower values of this input makes the speed higher and higher values makes the speed lower. So this trick can be really useful for button hover effects. So to do a button hover effect, all we need to do is if touching mouse pointer, we'll put this change size block here. Let's put it in the else statement as well. I'll set the size to 125 and I want it to be faster. So I'm just going to make the value lower to something like 2. And then here I'll put the default size 100 minus size divided by 2. Now as you can see this trick works even with hovering. This trick can also be used to smooth the X and the Y position. The next trick is how to do an infinite zoom effect. So suppose I want the scratch cat size to be 1000. I just type 1000 in the size parameter. And as you can see it does not allow the size to be that big. This means scratch has a size limit. To bypass this size limit we go to the costumes. We'll create a new blank costume. And then let's go back to the code. Let's do in green flag click. We'll switch costume to the blank costume. Then we'll set the size to whatever big size we want. So I'm just going to set it to 1000%. And then we'll switch it to the cat costume. Now as you can see we have bypassed the size limit. This is very useful. Now the next trick is how you could clone your buttons. Instead of using multiple sprites for your buttons. You can use only one sprite. So in this one sprite I have buttons in the form of costumes. The first button is a start button. And the second button is an instructions button. To make them both show in the screen we're going to use clones. So in the code we'll do when green flag clicked. We'll create a new variable called button id. Also make sure to click for this sprite only. And then we'll set it to 0. And then take this repeat loop. We'll set it to the number of buttons we have. In this case we have 2 buttons so I'll set it to 2. Meaning repeat 2. We'll change button id by 1. Also in the beginning we'll switch it to the first costume. In this case it's the start button. And after this change button id by 1 we're just going to create a clone of myself. After that just put next costume. Also under this when green flag click let's just hide and then when I start as a clone show forever if button id is equal to 1 as an example we will go to x 0 y 100 so the button id is nothing but the costume number in this case it is the start button so this is basically the start button's position and then we will check if button id is equal to 2 which is the instructions button we will go to x 0 y minus 100. Now as you can see both our buttons are shown here and it's all in one sprite. The next trick is how you could detect special keys. In scratch you are limited to many keys such as enter, question mark key and even the exclamation key. To get access to those keys all we need to do is when green flag click forever. Let's check if then take this key pressed block and then let's just take this join block. And then in this join block we are going to type the name of the desired key. In this case it is enter and then whenever we click enter let's just move 10 steps. So as you can see whenever I click enter it's moving 10 steps. This trick can be used for other special keys as well. The next trick is how to make your sprite tilt smoothly. For this trick we'll need to do when green flag clicked forever. We'll create a new variable called speed. We'll set it to 0 in the beginning. We'll change it by 8 here. Then point in direction sign of speed into 15 plus 90. Then put it in this point in direction block. And now as you can see this effect works. So the change speed is the speed it is turning to. And then this 15 is basically how much it turns. So suppose I set it to something like 30 it turns more. I'm just going to set it back to 15. And plus 90 is the direction it is pointing to. Next up is how to scroll with your middle mouse button. The code may seem weird but this actually works. All we need to do is when key up arrow is pressed using this event block we'll make the sprite go down so i'll do change y by minus 5 and when key down arrow is pressed let's just change y by 5. i'm not even using the up and down arrow keys i'm actually scrolling this cat's position using the middle mouse button this actually works this trick can be really useful if your game has a lot of upgrades. If it is the case you can just scroll through the upgrade. Comment down below if you want a more detailed tutorial on this topic. And these were some tricks that will make you a much better scratcher. If this video was useful make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.